don't forget to check out the Vernissage Discord. If you're interested in sharing your art with an amazing community, or just want to be a part of our game nights, head to the link in the description. As a work of science fiction, Halo owes a lot of its designs to prior media laying the groundwork. And while the world of Halo, and many other game universes for that matter, can stand on their own, Star Wars was hugely influential when it came to science fiction, and has without a doubt inspired millions of people to make their own creations inspired by their work. And just like many other aspects of the series, the Stormtroopers have almost become more recognizable than the movies themselves, transcending into the ranks of the most iconic designs in film history. But what if Stormtroopers made an appearance in Halo today? How could we pay homage to the soldiers who, without a doubt, inspired the Spartans of Halo? It's time to Halo-fy the Stormtroopers. Greetings, Vernissage here. In this episode of the halo Flying series, we'll be for the first time on this channel taking a look at a universe outside of Halo. One that's loved by millions of people the world over. Star Wars. For this video in particular, we're tackling five different Stormtroopers, redesigning them to make them more suitable for the world of Halo. But before we begin, I want to clear something up. These redesigns will more or less follow Halo Infinite's way of customization. What this means is that parts such as the forearms, legs and feet won't change throughout these designs. But the helmet, chest plate, shoulders and attachments will all play a unique part in each design. Think of it as its own armor core. Also, I want to take the time to thank my Spartan 2 patrons and Discord mods who helped me out with most of these designs. They really helped me get going with this project. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Before we tackle the more niche variants, let's take a look at the armor that started it all. The Stormtrooper. Besides laying the groundwork for almost all armor design in science fiction going forward, the Stormtrooper's armor perfectly encapsulated the terror and the power of the Empire. Its sleek body armor, paired with the round and smooth helmet, gave you the sense of these guys being well equipped and professional. While their aim certainly didn't match that, their presence did. So, to halify the Stormtrooper, I knew I wanted to keep the sleekness while still implementing some of the Spartans' complexity and angularity. I also felt the proportions could use some tweaking. So here's the design. What I was aiming for here was to capture the DNA of the original Stormtrooper design and implementing it to the already existing Spartan aesthetic in Halo. While parts such as the legs are very familiar to the Halo universe, the shoulders and the helmet challenged that design language with more unique and rounded corners. Speaking of, let's take a closer look at the helmet. While every part of the original design is included, it's been altered in either proportions or material. The visor was given more breathing room, and was repositioned to more closely follow the layout of the typical Spartan helmet. Think EOD. Taking some cues from the First Order Stormtrooper, the nose area was turned into its own separate piece to make it seem more factory produced, for lack of a better term. And to balance out the white in the design, I decided to give it a black rim, which also keeps the angularity of the mouth area going. Other than that, and some shapes being blockified, it's fairly similar to the original. The chest plate on the other hand, saw quite the overhaul. While the original could be designed to look more like the Mark VI chest plate, I never got it to look just right. So instead, I went for something more compact and streamlined while still featuring the overall look of the original. And just as a little nod to the classic design, I implemented hip attachments and some shotgun shells on the leg. The design we ended up with is a stormtrooper for sure, but brought into a new world with drastically different design rules. Let me know what you think of this design. Now, let's take a look at arguably the first proper alternate Stormtrooper variant to show up in the movies, the Cold Assault Stormtrooper. 
also known as the Snow Trooper. What makes these guys stand out among the different armor variants is the unique helmet. Due to the armor being utilized in harsh environments, the helmet was given a breather hood connecting the helmet to the chest plate. To halify the Snow Trooper, I knew I had to drastically change the mouth area of the helmet, and due to the nature of Spartan customization, the cape also had to go. And here's the design. While the breather hood had to go, I wanted to try my best at replicating the sleek shape of it, so I took some inspiration from the iconic Hayabusa helmet and gave it a clean mouth area, influenced by the plain look of the original. I also went ahead and made the visor bigger, since I thought the eyes on the original were a little too small for the Spartan look. Looking at the body, what makes this setup unique is the armor coating. Instead of the usual white and black, the Snow Trooper goes for a beige tech suit, which I wanted to capture for this halification. The chest plate, while not entirely accurate to the original, keeps the sleekness and round shapes, and adds some complexity to break up the monotony. And to finish it off, I included the pouches seen on the original, but made them black to get some more depth in the color scheme. The Snow Trooper we ended up with, on its own, is barely recognizable. But when compared to the original, the inspiration becomes way more apparent. Let me know what you think of this design. Before we continue, let me just talk to you about light for a bit. If you're like me, and you spend about 90% of your time at your desk either gaming or working, which to be honest, usually is in the middle of the night, chances are you've run into the issue of not being able to see. Maybe you're working on an assignment in the dark, or you just simply can't see your keyboard. Well, lucky for me, BenQ reached out to me, wanting to send me their screen bar in exchange for an honest review. And let me just tell you, I'm not sending it back. Whether it's day or night, the BenQ screen bar makes every task at my desk significantly smoother. Especially now, being a concept art student, having a light illuminating the entire desk makes the sketching stage so much easier. Now I know what you're thinking, but no, there's absolutely no screen glare from the lights. Don't ask me how, but it doesn't affect the visibility from your screen at all. Speaking of, the screen bar works for any monitor with this simple yet genius spring-loaded mechanism with this weight on the back. And if you think it's too bright, just lower the brightness. Too warm? Change the color temperature. Now again, I'm in no way being paid by BenQ to say this. They simply sent me it and asked me to review it. And well, I love it. So if this sounds interesting, check out the link in the description for the BenQ screen bar. Now, back to the video. Being a fan favorite to many, myself included, the Scout Trooper has made several appearances after its introduction in Return of the Jedi. Its big black eyes and tall mouth, contrasted with the white armor plating, gives it almost a ghastly look. It's also noticeably lighter than most other sets of armor, the legs in particular. To halify this iconic armor set, I knew I had to be creative about the legs and forearms not being fully armored, seeing as that wouldn't work on a Spartan. And here's the design. And as you can see, to solve the whole unarmored legs and forearms problem, I simply made it so this armor coating darkened those parts of the design, blending it into the tech suit more. Taking a look at the helmet, I kept most of it intact, only slightly halifying certain parts of it. The visor was once again given a golden finish, this time with a visor line to compensate for the bigger visor. While the brim and mouth were mostly untouched, the cheeks and the ears were slightly blockified to give it a more armored look. Moving on to the chest plate, I very closely mimicked the original, but made it way more compact and streamlined. While I like the original, I've always thought it's a little too big, so shrinking it down really helped this design. I then finished it off with some black pouches, as well as the hip attachments straight from the original. While very much halofied, the spirit of the Scout Trooper lives on in this redesign. Let me know what you think of this one. One of the more recent designs, the Coastal Defender Stormtrooper, or simply the Shore Trooper, 
won many people's hearts when it was first introduced in Rogue One. Instead of the recognizable white color scheme of the Stormtrooper, this design, as the name suggests, goes for a more sand-themed color scheme. Now this armor variant in particular is actually a short trooper captain, hence the blue parts. And while this was the best image of a short trooper I could find, I also think this color scheme would create a very interesting armor coating. So we're going with it. To halify the short trooper, I wanted to lean into the more angular look that the original goes for. So here's the design. Like I said, I wanted to exaggerate the blocky and the sharp look of the short trooper. So the helmet was given more angles and edges to reflect that. I also went ahead and gave it some classic lights on the side, as well as a darker eyeliner to make the golden visor pop next to the otherwise beige color scheme. As for the chest plate, I took the original and made it heavier and beefier. Now, the elephant in the room, the blue parts. Instead of giving the legs a black color, I thought this was a perfect place for the blue to be repeated, giving the coating a more consistent look. I then once again finished it off with some pouches on the sides. The short trooper we ended up with is mostly faithful to the source material, but the altered color scheme and the angular look makes it an armor set of its own. Let me know what you think of this design. Finally, let's take a look at the most Spartan-like Stormtrooper out of all of them, the Death Trooper. This terrifying variant of the Stormtrooper specializes in stealth and espionage, which is made clear with their armor's sleek, black finish and thin silhouette. Pouches and grenades are scattered all over the armor, giving it a surprisingly militaristic look. To halify the Death Trooper, most of the work has to go into reimagining the helmet, due to its shapes being rather unusual for Spartans. And here's my design. Aside from the legs and forearms, not much was changed on the body. The attachments seen on the original already fit perfectly into the Spartan aesthetic, so I simply kept it as it was. As for the helmet, this is where most of the changes were made. While the Death Trooper helmet is one of, if not my favorite helmet in all of Star Wars, the proportions and the pieces themselves are just a little too exaggerated for the Spartan look. For the sides, I made them more blocky, while still keeping some of the curvature from the original. For the mouth area and the top of the helmet, I simply gave it more complexity. And as for the visor, I wanted to make it stand out a bit more, so give it a much more clear green finish, which is of course repeated in the lights at the bottom of the helmet. While it loses some of its slender and sleek look, the halified Death Trooper is still the black sheep of the family. Literally. Let me know what you think of this design. And there we have it. That's the Halo Fight Stormtrooper designs I made for this video. Which one's your favorite? And please, let me know how you think I did. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing something like this, so don't hesitate to give me some constructive feedback. And what do you want to see next? More Stormtroopers? clones perhaps? Just let me know in the comments below. Thanks again to BenQ for the screen bar. Check out the link to their stuff in the description. If you want to discuss these designs, or participate in game nights, be sure to check out the Vernissage Discord. My amazing mods always have something cooking up there. Speaking of my lovely Discord mods, a huge thanks to them and of course my Spartan 2 patrons for helping me out with these designs. If you also want to be a part of my redesigning process, be sure to check out the different tiers on my Patreon. I want to thank my Spartan 2s. That one guy, Dean Marshmallow, Die Hard Cult 3, Ripcorded, Itsuyona Kororenzo, Azores, and newcomer, Desu. And my Spartan 4s, Andron Dyer, Liam Fitzpatrick, Frogtrotch, and Jacob P117. If you like this video, give it a like. If not, a dislike and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I wish you all the best, and take care. Vernissage, out.